care if she's an 80-year-old woman. I would punch her for what she put my family through. Those are the words from the widow of a slain police chief. His accused killer's remains just found in Dartmouth, putting to rest one of the longest FBI manhunts. Donald Webb was wanted for killing that police chief back in 1980. But now he is turned up dead in his ex-wife's backyard in Dartmouth. WBC's Katie Brace picks up the story live in Dartmouth tonight. Katie? And David and Paula, a much quieter scene here tonight, whereas yesterday federal and state investigators were digging in this backyard, and we now know the human remains they found belong to wanted fugitive Donald Webb. He was wanted for the December 1980 murder of then Saxonburg, Pennsylvania Police Chief Gregory Adams. Investigators have looked for him since that time. He was on the FBI's most wanted list until 2007. They knew he had ties to southeastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. And and several reports revealed earlier this year that investigators found a hidden room here in the house that belongs to his ex-wife. And we saw the ex-wife, Lillian Webb, arrive back at this house this afternoon. She did not say anything, but the widow of Chief Adams has plenty to say about her. We spoke with Chief Adams' window, widow by phone, who has waited for 40 years for justice. I mean, hiding him while he's alive and burying him in the backyard when he dies. Seriously, I don't care what they do with their remains. They can put them back in the ground and stomp on them. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Turns out investigators say Webb's body has been buried in the backyard here for 17 years since he died back in 1999. Lillian Webb was granted immunity for leading investigators to the body, and she's been granted immunity from any criminal prosecution. Reporting live in Dartmouth, Katie Brace, WBC News.